Hello everyone, welcome back to the Collective Wardrobe. Today is going to be very fun because I'm going to be showing you one of the best thrift hauls I've ever had in my entire life. My whole thrift existence has led up to this moment because I have been looking and on the search for just 70s vintage items and then I went to the thrift the other day and all of a sudden like there was just an abundance of 70s pieces and I was just in shock and amazed and I was like how in the world did this happen so I'm pretty sure someone donated like a bunch of like their grandma's stuff or something because it's all the same size and it's all like kind of similar brands and it fits me like exact like to the T perfect perfection um, I am going to be selling a few of the pieces, but first I want to show you what I got. This is not going to be a try-on haul because I'm going to make a separate video of basically a 70s lookbook, putting all of the 70s pieces that I found into outfits. So if you want to say like if you want to see these tried on and kind of like styled, wait for that video, which will come probably in the next couple of weeks. I'm really excited to show you guys this, so let's go ahead and get started. So whatever comes up first in my pile of things I thrifted, I'm just going to show you. These are not 70s, these are, I believe, like 80s or 90s. It's the brand Stuffed Jeans. And I'll show you a close-up, but they have pleats in them. They're super high-waisted, and they're like straight leg or wide leg kind of. And they have um, these like pinstripes all the way down. Yeah, these are the first ones, they're so cute. Okay, I got two more pairs of jeans. I got these like perfect condition lee jeans and they are super long and straight leg um they're a little bit too long for me they do fit perfect like in the waist um but i think i am going to sell these i have to do some more research and see like where they're from because i don't i don't think they're 70s i think they might be i don't know 80s i can't i can't really tell they're beautiful they're lovely they're in great condition so i got those and then i also got these which aren't as special but they're just cheesy Wrangler jeans, um, but they're super high-waisted, and I really like the wash on them, and they're more like, I like to wear these type of jeans as, like, a casual outfit, and, like, when I'm going places, because they're comfortable, but they're still thick and vintage, so these are fun. Now, to the special 70s stuff. First, I'll show you the trousers, my favorite type of pant. First and foremost, I got these high-waisted wool, kind of, like, camel-colored trousers, um, they are the brand EJE. I've never heard of that brand, but I know they're vintage. Um, one, because they don't have lining in them, which is strange. Um, and just the, the fit of them, you can tell with the line down the middle of them that these are the straight leg 70s slacks. So, this is the first pair. They're beautiful, they're wonderful, amazing. Then we have this pair, which is by the brand, the Branch D.I.V. of Joshua Tree, and this is where the majority of this clothing is from, or like the brand of it. There are these like, I don't know what this material is, but it's like suede, but like cheap suede. Um, but they are also these like 70s slacks, where they have the pleat down the middle of the leg, and they're just like super um, straight leg and super high waisted, like all the way up here. These are my favorites though, out of like the three I just showed you, because they're this wonderful like blue color. And you can definitely tell they're from the 70s because of the, the like, polyester feeling of them. I think it's polyester. Um, this one is called Jack Winter Double Knit 100% Polyester Machine Washable Pants. And they are just so fun. Like, the color is wonderful. They're high-waisted. They got a nice flare at the end. I don't know if you can see that. Let me show you. And they have that pleat down the middle of the leg again. They're so cool. I have a perfect outfit for this, so definitely stay tuned for the... Um, try on haul I'm going to show you it might be like a seven it might be titled like 70s lookbook or something like that but now I'm going to show you the sets I got I got two sets I could have gotten a third one but it was like falling apart so I wasn't going to do that one here is a corduroy 70s jacket with matching corduroy hold on let me zip it up matching corduroy high-waisted pants with the leg pleats okay together like this is also, perfectly my size. I tried them on. They fit like a glove. Like, how, how, how did I get this lucky? Like, look at this with this, and they fit perfect. That's, like, amazing. Wonderful. Amazing, wonderful. And they're, like, I don't know, it's just so cool. And, like, 
the fact that they all fit is just, I was the same size as whoever this lady's clothing was. Hopefully she's still alive. If she's not, rest in peace and thank you for donating your clothes. So then I found this outfit, which is a little outside my comfort zone because I'm not much of a green person. But I am student teaching right now, so on St. Patrick's Day I will be wearing this suit to school. So first you have these high-waisted wonderful polyester pants with the pleat down the middle again, okay? Then, it comes with this wonderful matching little, this may be 60s, but I'm pretty sure it's like 60s, 70s top, okay? Then, when it comes to tops, this is a man's top. It's very, very mannish. But can we talk about this collar? It's amazing. Definitely polyester. I can't stand the polyester, but it's, it's fun. It's, I don't know how I'm going to style this, but it's going to be fun to style, I already know it. Then, this is, I don't know if this is 70s, but it's giving me Little Women vibes. It's like this cute little, little house on the prairie type plaid shirt. Um, I'm very excited about this because I'm making a Little Women collection, just so everybody knows. And then, I got this wonderful dress. It's so beautiful. Look at these pleats. One. And then it comes with this, like, necktie. You guys know I love a necktie, so this is wonderful. Can you see that beautiful, like, floral design? And then, like, look at these pleats. Like, I will never forget this moment. Okay, so that's a beautiful piece. Then, this, this I'm going to pair with that brown corduroy suit. It's like this little um, leaf design shirt with a necktie. And it's going to be amazing. It's going to be wonderful. So that's, I think... I think that's all the 70 pieces I got. I'll show you more if I find more. But there was a bunch of it, but a lot of it was like falling apart or had stains on it. So I just went with what I could wear and use. But let me show you stuff that's not 70s that I also got at this thrift. It was like a huge thrift purchase. And I do not regret any of it. Let me show you. And then I also got this little blue pullover. It's just a little uh, cotton sweater. And I don't have a lot of stuff with this royal blue. Um, it's not really special, but it's cute. Then I got this, which I'm going to wear on Easter. I don't know if you can see it, but it has this, like, embroidered knit wreath on it. And it's this cute little, like, baby sweater, but for an adult, basically. It has a wreath. It's cute. It has flowers. Then, speaking of embroidery, I also got this, like, pilgrim collar shirt with little embroidered flowers on it. So this will be fun to style for, like, the spring and summer. And then, this is the stuff that I got that I haven't washed yet, so, um, that's why it's not hangers. But I got this cute little yellow, um, pullover knit sweater, and it has the cut that I've been looking for. It's like, where it's not really like a short sleeve, but it's not like sleeveless, and it kind of just cups over the shoulder a little bit. And it was very common in like the 50s and 60s, maybe even 40s, so I've been looking for this, and I finally found one. So I'm excited. Yellow's not my favorite, but I will accept it. Then, oh, here's another 70s piece that I got. This is going to go with those blue trousers. And it's just like this, my mom says it's a men's shirt because of the way the collar goes. I can't wait to style this. You guys are going to see such cool outfits. And I'm going to include all the other 70s stuff I already own to make this lookbook, this next video, amazing. Then I also got, this is for work, my student teaching. I got this little houndstooth like skirt. I got this houndstooth skirt which I'm not going to wear for student teaching because it's a little bit too short for a professional look but it's just like a little plaid skirt and it reminds me of like 90's Jennifer Aniston when she worked at Ralph Lauren so that's where I'm going with that one. And I think that is it. It was a lot and it was wonderful. I'm very very excited for all of the things I got because I don't know I'm just really excited I've never found that many 70s pieces at once or in general like I rarely ever find things like before the 80s so this was like really fun and special for me thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it please make sure to like subscribe and comment if you want thanks so much for watching bye your grace is my defense your kindness calls me friend